Did you know that there is a Muslim who changed the world of medicine? His name was Ibn Sina, or Avicenna to the Europeans, and he was born in 980 CE in Bukhara, which is now part of Uzbekistan. When he was just 10 years old, he had memorized the entire Quran, and by the time he was 16, he was a physician. He wrote a five-volume medical encyclopedia called The Canon of Medicine, which became the gold standard in medicine for over 600 years, not just in the Islamic world, but in Europe as well. He introduced the clinical diagnosis principles, which advocated for a systematic observation of patients, taking their history and using logical deduction to make a diagnosis. This is essentially the modern clinical method. In his book, he also described over 760 drugs and their effects, as well as their dosage and how they interact with each other long before modern testing. He also wrote about infectious diseases like tuberculosis, diabetes, and meningitis with an insightful accuracy that was only surpassed when germ theory was proven. He was also one of the first to connect the mind and the body, writing about depression, anxiety, and psychosomatic disorders centuries before they were taken seriously. He even mapped human anatomy without dissecting a single body which was forbidden in his religion. He theorized how organs functioned and where blood circulated and how it digested food, all without cutting open a corpse. He also studied surgery and emergency response, including setting bones, treating wounds, and even performing brain surgery. He described early forms of anesthesia and surgical tools and techniques. And finally, he taught the ethics of medicine, emphasizing the moral duty of physicians to do good and the importance of balancing the body and the soul in healing. His canon influenced medicine for centuries and was translated into Latin in the 12th century. It was taught in European universities until the 17th century, earning him the title Prince of Physicians, 